and I said it before the break, but I'll say it again. Winter is the worst, like especially this part of winter because Christmas is over. People don't have like twinkly lights out anymore and, and it's just cold and, and drab and we're sad, right? Like I'm, we're sad and we're stressed and our next guest totally gets that. Kara Snyder, you know, we've had her on the show. She talks a lot about anxiety and kids and adults and she's joining us now to talk about the winter and New Year's woes. Karis, welcome back. Help us. It, right. It's, you know, we're in the new year. I actually saw, we had a, a doctor on not too long ago. I think he said January 17th is the day most people drop out from the New Year's resolutions. Right. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, that's just what he said, so I'll take his word for it. But again, it's it's this crazy time. Yes. Help us, you say grace is so important right now, especially at, at this new year. Right, and then y'all's driving in, it's just gray, like it yeah. is gray everywhere. I know. It, it, the road, the sky. I don't like when I see us. like branches just against a white sky, you yeah. know? I'm like, we need some leaves. This needs to be green and right. bright and fun and it's just cold. I know, I know. And, and right, and like the doctor was telling you, over 20% of people right now, we're 16 days right in January, yeah. they, they've stopped the resolutions. They're, they are stressed, they're depressed, they're mm. overwhelmed. You know, we are in this kind of this in-between time right mm. now. You know, we were in holidays, we were around friends, we were around family, we were having fun, and now it stopped. Yeah. You know, and so now we've. it's easier to isolate. Mm -hmm. It's easier to pull back. There's not as much sunlight that we need that mm -hmm. gives us that vitamin D. Um, if you are like us, you're kind of still kind of halfway in Christmas, like all of our my lights are not up. down yet. It's fun. Yeah. My tree is still up in my living room and it was lit this weekend and it was a great time. Right. So Same. No judgment. Same to, for <laughs> us as well. So you're kind of in that halfway point. Um, and then there just, there is an actual seasonal uh, disorder where you feel more sad. You yeah. feel more depressed and more irritable and so maybe you're finding yourself there maybe you're out there listening and you're finding yourself there um, because of financial stress mm -hmm. maybe uh, some physical stress maybe those clothes are fitting a little bit tighter maybe you're not around family and friends anymore and you're not quite sure what this overwhelm is what this exhaustion is mm -hmm. uh, and, and you don't know what to do mm -hmm. so Let's figure that out. Yeah. Uh, so help. So what are some steps? Again, I know you said gr giving ourselves grace is such a big thing, which I know you've talked about that yeah. before on the show. But what are some other kind of practical steps? Uh, do we do we make new goals? Do we be more right. intentional with our time? How, how can we you know make this January better? Right. So I think grace is the very first place that we start. Now, students, you might be at home listening, and you can learn this much faster than us as mm. adults. We want to start with grace. Let's say that you have a New Year's resolution and you haven't done great with that yet. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We're gonna start over. Mm -hmm. Lift that up, mm -hmm. let it go, and start again. Yeah. Okay, so we wanna write down some new resolutions. And maybe this time when we write those resolutions down, let's put some baby steps in there. Let's make this a process. What some people typically have, have began to do is do a word focus, where they I've pick a that, yeah. word for the year instead of making resolutions so that they can focus all throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So that if they mess up, if it's February and they still haven't gotten you know on the wagon, well, there's grace to start. So yeah. let's start there. So we wanna start over. Over. maybe start with a new word focus or start with a new year's resolution mm -hmm. yeah really being intentional Be I think about intentional. that time and, and that's right yeah um, some other things that we want to do we want to start moving I get it it is cold outside right mm -hmm. we don't want to get out there it's gray but we want to start moving our body needs that we need those endorphins yeah. to kick in that blood flow so if you have a lunch break if it's not raining bundle up get outside and walk scarf around right. the neck over the nose and just move just a little move. bit because we you will feel better even though the fact that you're cold I think you know the endorphins that you get from that will will make up for the fact that your fingers are frozen you're exactly right and yeah. then you won't feel it after a few minutes yeah a lot of streaming services now they provide um, video mm -hmm. that you can do 10 minutes to 45 minutes so find somewhere that you can start don't start with 45 minutes if you haven't done that before start with a 10 and build up another thing that we want to do we want to start volunteering yeah. start helping others you know how do you feel when you help someone. So good. Right? I mean, yeah, because I think, and this is, you know, something that I think a lot of us have struggled with, you know, when you are depressed, you know, they, they do say if you can get your mind on somebody else, which I know doesn't always work. I know sometimes we are trying to, to be grateful and to help other people, but um, I think putting into action, like you said, like getting out and, and knocking on your neighbor. I got a neighbor who I try to help. She's yeah. senior citizen and, you know, just, Perfect. you know, not just walking by and 
you know, ignoring it, just yeah. really kind of putting your yes yeah, on the helping table those, and those, up in that way. That's right. Those that are elderly, helping yeah. in our churches, helping in a soup kitchen, lots of places around here in our area that we can give back. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that we want to do, we want to start taking better care of ourselves. We, we, we treat our bodies sometimes not in the best way, mm -hmm. right? So we want to drink some more water. Unfortunately, that does not count the water in your coffee. So we want to drink <laughs> real water. We want to hydrate. We want to get that vitamin D. And then also we want to start getting open. This is the year. Focus yeah. on your mental health. Talk to a counselor. Talk to a doctor. If you had a physical ailment that was going on for several weeks, what will we do? Mm -hmm. We'd pick up the phone and we call a doctor. Do that for your mental health this year. That's Don't so true. push it down. Don't hold on to it because it will begin to affect your body and you will want to isolate. So call that counselor, call that friend, mm -hmm. call your pastor yeah. and take care of your mental health. Um, and then something else, which I just saw the pig. <laughs> Right. Let's the start party having thing. fun. Yeah. Let's start having fun. No, that's so true. And I, and I love to, I mean, again, my, my friends and I have been talking about this because we all hate winter. It's kind of like this universal yeah. feeling um, because, you know, in summer, it's like we're at the pool, we're at Top Golf, we're you know, doing yeah. top down and whatever um, in the car. And in the winter, we're like, help. And I think, <laughs> you know, you don't always have to be doing like something fun, but just ha who right. you're with, right? You that's know, we've with. kind of been just having movie nights. And I think like kind of doing, nothing together is yes. there's so Perfect. you know much peace yeah. in that so you might think like well I don't have any plans so I you know I can't call my friend and see if she wants to just see if you want to come over and have tea and and watch That's a movie right. you know like it's not it doesn't have to be these big plans I think just being in community with one another and having fun and in, in whatever ways my friends and I made those um vision boards that you saw last yes, week we that. went to Barnes and Noble and bought a ton of magazines and made the vision boards this weekend you know yeah. just hanging out and and just like yeah. I said being intentional with that time and with those people regardless of, of what it is you're actually That's doing right. we know as the quote says laughter is medicine yeah for our souls so just finding ways to just gather here and there it may not be every week it may just be a few minutes here and there yeah. but by starting some of these things it begins the process mm -hmm. to take our January back as Caitlin was talking with you Friday have that comeback let's have that comeback yeah. Love for January for 2023 and let's move forward doing a little bit at a time and as we begin to take these actions take care of ourselves help serve others mm -hmm. we're gonna begin to see a shift yeah so good Karis we love you thank you so much for sharing just your heart and your wise words of wisdom you're so gifted in this area tell us if you will again we, we can see more of your great gifts and, and read more of your wisdom and some great devotionals you also just have a great online presence tell us where we yeah. can keep up yeah definitely at karasnyder.com or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Kara Snyder all right we'll follow along there Karis thank you again so much happy new year to you thank we appreciate you for it. having me